Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day, is it the last day? It is, huh? La the last day of the year. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. And with this problem, we would have done every problem. Uh, we would have a video for every problem this year and, and more if, you, if you've been following because you know that we've been doing a lot of videos uh, and just solving problems together. I uh, hope everyone's having a... Well, I mean, you know, 2022 for me has been a kind of a rough year, to be frank. But I hope everyone, you know, uh, well, the, the year is over, right? I hope 2023 is a better year. Uh, and I don't know, depending on when you read this, I uh, hope you have a happy new year and everything. And yeah, all, all the things that needs to be said. Uh, hope everyone's doing all right. Uh, anyway, today's problem is 980, Unique Paths 3. It's a hard problem. What are we? What variation is this? This seems like a grid path problem, but let's see what uh, what are we doing. So we have one starting for starting square, two is the ending square, so it's not just at the corners, and it can go left and right. Okay, and then there's empty squares that we can go, and you have to return the number four directional walks walking over every non-obstacle square exactly once. So is that ham cycle or ham path rather? Uh, hmm. So this like seems like it is a uh, ham path, uh, which is short for Hamiltonian uh, path, which means that you look at it. Mm, yeah, you look at every node once, right? Is that what it's asking? Yeah, it seems like that is, um, assuming that you don't hit um, an obstacle, or yeah, assuming you just don't hit any obstacles, I suppose. And you start at one, and you start with two, and every non-obstacle square exactly once. Okay. Um, and this is um, so. I would say this is where knowing um, the literature, if you will, uh, helps a, at least a little bit. Because um, when you hear ham cycle, and you can. You know, it's literally just ham cycle. So, or it stands stands for Hamiltonian. Maybe I, I, I hope I spelled that correctly. But Hamiltonian cycle. Uh, uh, or in this case, it's not a cycle because you don't go back to the same place. So it's ham path, right? Same thing, ham path. Uh, but so definitely, you can read more about the literature there. But the key takeaway to note is that it is NP, right? Um, meaning that there are no hopes of a um a polynomial time solution to this problem um i mean that said of course there are pseudo polynomial things as you can sometimes see in dynamic programming and stuff like that but you know um for now um yeah um yeah um the second thing to do is look at constraints and it seems like m times n is less than or you go to 20 which means you can do some kind of you know either a bit mask because basically you you're saying every cell can be you know visited or not visited and really this is probably the only way you can phrase the question um because yeah because um like I said, this is exponential, so any slower is going to be just too slow, right? It's still cutting a little bit close, to be honest. Um, maybe. Because, I mean, so naively, you want to say it's 2 to the 20 times 20 or something like this um, would be the, the bit mass dp. Um, you could also, but you can also say that Is that even true? Yeah, something, something like that. But another way to anal an uh, analyze it is that this, um, so starting from the starting position, maybe there's four, four ways out of it, and then there's only one way back to the last square. Um, so it's like three to the 19 or three to the 18 times four, something like that. And what is that? Let me plug it into my trusty calculator. 3 to the, oops, that's the wrong button. 3 to the 19 is uh, 1 billion, which is still going to be very sad. Um, so, yeah, definitely too slow for us to do it that way. Uh, 
this is something that we uh I, I tried to kind of talk about a little bit but wasn't quite i don't think i explained it that well i i believe yesterday or the day before where i said that if it's exponential then you know you can't really do better than that but this seems like a problem where they want you to do a little bit of optimization even though it's still exponential which is kind of you know a little bit unfortunate but i said uh, as i said um this is something about like if you get this or something similar in an interview um like just just recognizing the literature already puts you in a good place because knowing the literature means that you will not waste time on looking for um a quote unquote a more optimal solution right um because you know that it cannot exist the only thing that may be a little bit is that sometimes you may you know it um sometimes i don't know if it's ironic or whatever but in certain problems uh it may resemble an mp complete problem or mp problem but because of certain constraints it actually makes the problem easier um and in this case you know there's a grid but i don't think that actually makes it easier so so let's uh let's just imp let's just work on this ham path and and yeah and let's uh let's see if there's a uh... oh I, I think one thing that i did miss here um cuz i think i was confusing this problem with yesterday and i just noticed this now is that because i was reading the explanation and it was showing all the path in this one you actually do not need to know um you do not need to know the paths, right? So in this case, you can actually just output the number. Okay, so that helps a little bit, but yeah, okay. Let's, um, I mean, this is gonna be annoying, but, but let's do it together, right? I mean, I, I, well, it's actually not that bad, but, but it is just a, a a little bit annoying for me to explain, I suppose. That's maybe why I, I go with because there are a lot of li like little components that are kind of just weird. All right, let's that, that, let's let's just get started. I think I've talked enough about it. Uh, but that said, I am a little bit thirsty right now, so give me two seconds. Let me uh, let me hook a Larry up with some water. Sorry, friends. The beauty of doing these lives sometimes is that you get moments like this where. Usually I, I drink a little bit of water first, but today maybe, I don't know, just wait. It's actually way, hum um, not humid, but way hot in New York today. Uh, I, I was outside in just this t-shirt and it was 60 degrees Fahrenheit. I, um, so yeah, I don't, for people with a normal temperature thing, I don't know what that means, but uh, uh, so it's, but my point is that it's way warm today. So I think maybe I didn't drink enough water. Mm. Hydration is always good, and well, to some degree, anyway. Okay. <clears throat> mm, excuse me. So, okay, so now we have a. Uh, mm, sorry, there's something on my monitor. Mm. Okay, so now we have an all time C grid, right? And yeah, what are we doing? So basically. Okay, so. I'm gonna, you know, today is a Friday, so I'm gonna write it as, um, maybe not a hundred percent, but I'll try to teach it as much as I, I can. So definitely, um, you know, a lot of these things it's always hard to make videos for literally everybody, right? And and you know, um, I have so many videos right now nowadays, right? That um, I have like 2000 videos or something like that, that it's kind of tricky to always explain the same thing over and over again. So I don't know, um, I, my point of this disclaimer is just that like, if I miss something or you don't understand something, let me know in the comments or let me know in the Discord. Um, you know, like I said, I do this live, so you know, I try my best, but sometimes, you know, uh, eh, sometimes it happens if I don't. But yeah, so basically, let we, let's say we have a count path thing. We're currently at X, we're currently at Y, and we currently have, say, um, like a scene thing, right? And what does this mean? Let's just say scene is, let's just say, mm, uh, this is not gonna be true in the end, but I, I just wanna demonstrate um, how the process evolves. But let's say scene is equal to a set, right? And then what, what would this code look like? 
Uh, first of all, let me set up directions. Oops, I don't have that. Wow, how did I typo so badly? So poorly. Um, but yeah, this is my DX and DY. Um, basically, I mean, you'll see how I use it later. So then that may, may not quiz it up. But yeah, so if X is equal to, uh, we have to find the... Uh, Hmm. We have to find it. Eh, we don't have to find the exit. We can just. Eh, okay. Maybe another way to say it is that. Hmm. Eh. This is kind of awkward because we ha we have to do this like negative. We have to do a two thing. All right, let's do a couple of things first, right? Okay, let, let, let me write it in a dumb way. Okay, so let's, let's say um, SX equal SY, you go NX, you go NY is equal to none, right? So for X in range of R, for Y in range of C, and then grid XY, right? If this is equal to 1, then... Um, this is the case. Else, if grid is equal to two, then we set up the ending, right? It's just pre minor pre-processing, and then here we go with x is equal to x, and y is equal to ui, and length of scene is equal to empty squares or something like this, right? Um, so I guess we actually have to set that as well. So empty is equal to zero, um, so that we just don't go over the, um, yeah. If grid x y is not equal to negative one, we add a two. So basically, this is saying that we 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 we've been to every empty square, and when the last square, let's you know, uh, return one or maybe count one or something like this, right? Return one, right? Um, you may even say something like, if this is empty, then we return one. Otherwise, we return zero, right? Okay, um, and this is basically we want to keep track of all the things that we've seen and we want to make sure that scene contains every empty stuff. So for DX, DY in directions, we want to say uh, NX, NY is equal, is equal to X plus DX, Y plus DY. If we want to make sure that this is in bounds and and we want to make sure that this is uh, not uh, an, an obstacle. I guess the minus one is technically true. Um, then, well, then we count going there, right? So let's say we start with total is equal to zero. Then in this case, we total is equal to count uh, NX and Y scene, right? And of course, we have to add the... Oh, uh, well, th there's another thing, which is that if NX and Y is not in scene, meaning, meaning, meaning we haven't seen it yet, then here we add it to NX and Y, and then we remove it, right? Um, so, okay, so far so good-ish. And then we, at the end we return total, and this should solve it, um, even though it'll be very slow, right? So we return count of SX, SY, and just an empty set, right? So we don't actually, you know, do this thing. But let's kind of run it real quick. I'm just curious. Did I miss the thingy? Hmm. How did I? Oh, I, I moved it down. That's fine. Uh, hmm. Well, the reason why is because we didn't put um, SXSY in here. Okay, well, that's no good. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Wow, this is wrong for every case. So I'm double counting somewhere. Well, maybe. Maybe I'm just doing something really poorly. Why is this returning zero? Well, why is this returning two? So do, do, do. Hmm. 
Um, hmm. That's curious. Oh, I'm adding. Oh, this. Hmm. I see. Wow, that is actually a very subtle bug. Um, this auto creating thing is kind of. Yeah. Okay, so this is good now. Now that uh, apparently I had an off by one introduced by uh, my poor notation, so this should be good. But of course, it'll be too slow for any reasonable test case, and we can probably put one in here. Um, just add this, but uh, do, do, do. let's make it like eighteen items, and it'll probably be too big. But or may just be zero, but still should be too slow anyway. Oh, hmm. That is actually amazingly fast. Hmm. All right, let me try another one. And that's only 18 items. That's actually surprising. Huh. Man, I'm almost tempted to submit just to see if I can. Um, that is actually surprising, huh? What's 20? 4 times 5? I'm almost tempted to submit just to just because I'm curious. But this is a zero, so that's kind of maybe why. But hmm. Yeah, all right. I, I don't recommend this, but I'm, I'm just curious whether this is, and I already solved this before, so I'm curious if I really needed to do any more. Okay, wow. Hmm. I, I, I really... Uh, and this is beats 91%, of course. Um. Well, huh. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I mean... I was going to go over the dynamic programming solution, but apparently I don't even need to, and this is pretty fast uh, for this. And in fact, apparently I did it in C a long time ago. No, I didn't do it with memorization that time either. Uh, or this time. No, I talked about hemp path that time too. Okay, well, I, I, I thought that I needed DP for this one, but apparently I didn't have to. So, um, yeah, uh, so this is going to be hemp path, Hamiltonian path. Uh, yeah, like I said, this is going to be brute force, and apparently that's all you need. Hmm. Yeah. Apparently you don't need to do any caching. Uh, okay. Well, that's all I have for today, then, I guess. Uh, I am going to take a nap and go to sleep. Or maybe just going to sleep. Yeah, okay. Uh, wow, I, I, I actually... Okay. I, was, I thought I was going to do some bit mass dynamic programming. But okay, so apparently I didn't need to, so that's good. It's just well, very really fast. I mean, the, the thing is that with these um, MP problems, I mean, obviously it's exponential, this complexity still, but sometimes there, and I think some part of it is that because this is a grid, it there is some self-constraining things that happen when you're in this grid, because, for example, there are a lot of paths that, like, you know, like a snake, right? Like it box you in so you can't get out. So there are a lot of paths that are kind of cut off like that. And therefore, it's almost like a self-pruning kind of thing. But I don't know that I, you know, recommend it because it's very hard to prove, um, if you ask me. And I, that's why I'm a little bit surprised, even though apparently I've done this three times, but uh, three other times even. So I don't know. Um, I am going to leave it at, at that for today, though. So I guess maybe, you know, this is, Maybe uh, 2022 will leave us with a happy surprise at the end. I don't know. Um, that's all I have, though, for today. Uh, I'm going to take a, take a rest. Um, anyway, hope y'all have a great year. Um, I'll see you soon, so it'll be okay. Uh, but yeah, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.